hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the on delete policy in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing all version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials and if i go to the pie charm so here we have the custom add-ons so what i'll do is that here i have my oru 15 source code so if i find in path and if i search for on delete you will see a lot of use cases like on delete restrict on delete cascade etc along with the field definition so here you can see this is a field declaration and along with that Odoo has added on delete equal to cascade and similarly for other fields you will see on delete equal to restrict so let's see what is the use case of this attribute on delete and what is the difference between on delete restrict and on delete cascade so if i go to the ui here we have the patient list and here we have the appointments so what i'll do is that if i group by patient so i'll just group by patient here you can see apple test has got four appointments in the database and oru mates has got one appointment and another oru mates has got four appointment so what i'll do i'll simply create a new patient in the database like i'll name it as om and i'll click on save so we have created a patient called om and i'll duplicate this tab and i'll create an appointment for this patient so i'll select the patient as om and you can see i'll select doctor and i'll click on save so what we have done is we have created a new patient in the database as well as a new appointment now what i'll do i'll just delete this patient from the database so i'll click on action and i click on delete okay so you can see the patient om has been deleted from the database and if you refresh you can see here also the from the appointment the patient has been getting removed so in such cases we can use the own delete policy in odoo suppose if we have an appointment for the patient we should not able to delete that patient because it has been already referenced inside the appointment so in such cases where we have to restrict the deletion of the patient we can use on delete restrict in odoo so along with the field definition so i'll go to the custom add-ons here we have om hospital and inside the models we have appointment.py so here you can see hospital.appointment and here we have patient id field so along with that field what i'll do is that i will add on delete equal to restrict that means if a patient is used inside appointment i cannot delete that patient it has to be restricted that is if this record we are trying if the selected record is trying to delete we have to restrict that so we have added that now i'll restart the service and i'll upgrade the om hospital module so i'll go to the apps menu and from here i'll upgrade om hospital module so the module has been upgraded now what i'll do i'll create a new patient called om2 om2 i'll click on save and i'll cre create an appointment for this patient so from appointments i'll create an appointment for this patient om2 doctor set save so we have created an appointment for this patient now if you try to delete this record i'll click on delete click on ok you can see you will be getting a validation error the operation cannot be completed another model requires that is the delete will be restricted like it is referenced inside this model so you cannot delete this you can see the appointment is still here and om2 is still here we cannot delete this record until we delete this appointment now if i delete this appointment so appointment has been deleted and if you try to delete this it will work you can see there is no restriction so if you create a new patient om3 om3 and currently it doesn't have any appointment so it will be getting deleted easily so if i create a new patient om4 save and i'll create an appointment for om4 
save then you cannot delete it will restrict you because of the existing appointment so that is the working of on delete restrict in Odoo. now we have an another attribute called on delete cascade so let's see the working of on delete cascade so i hope you understood the functionality of on delete restrict now we are discussing about on delete cascade so simply i have changed it to on delete cascade and i'll restart the service and let's upgrade the module to see or to get that change now i will just upgrade the om hospital module and here we have om4 patient which has an appointment here om4 has got an appointment here that is here you can see total number of appointment is 16 and i'll delete this patient so you can see it has been deleted and if you refresh here this record will get deleted currently it was 16 if you refresh the count will decrease to 15 that is on delete cascade that is if you are deleting that patient this record itself will get deleted that is the policy on delete cascade if you are deleting the patient we will delete the corresponding record also so if you create a new patient ttt save and let's create a couple of appointments for that patients ttt so here i'll create one appointment for ttt and i'll duplicate save i'll duplicate let's make it three so if you check here group by patient ttt has got three appointments 23 24 and 25 and if you delete this patient that appointments also will get deleted if you refresh and if you group by patient you can see there is no ttt and if you check for op0023 you won't see that it also get deleted when you delete the parent record so this is on delete cascade so i hope you understood the difference between on delete cascade and on delete restrict in odoo so if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us as a comment and also feel free to connect us in social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram and please follow us in github so if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by having a comment and sharing it with your Odoo friends so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you